All right, I think we are live. I am just waiting for confirmation from the old uh, book of the face. Yes, we are good to go. So if you're here watching this live, hit the like button, let me know you're here. If you're watching our replay, hit the like button, let me know you're catching a replay. So uh, quick one today. Thinking about the ideas of tolerance and forgiveness. They're two very closely linked topics that we all experience at one time or another in our lives. But despite being so closely linked, they're also distinctly different. Tolerance is putting up with something that's not serving you. It's accepting something that isn't helping you, but allowing it to remain part of your life. A lot of us think that there is um, a similarity between tolerance and willpower and resilience. We tend to get these things mixed up when they are distinctly different because tolerance is not noble, it's not kind, and it's not the same as willpower. Tolerance is simply putting up with something that you're putting up with. True willpower is actually being able to walk away from things that aren't serving you. True willpower is the opposite of tolerance. It's not tolerating. So tolerance is something that keeps you stuck. And it works both ways because if you're tolerating behavior from another person or from a situation, then your tolerance of that keeps them stuck as well. So it works both ways. And the more that you come to tolerate something, the more exposed you are to it, the more normalized it becomes. And when we start to normalize things, they become part of our day-to-day -day reality and they become very hard to move beyond. They become part of the cycle and it becomes hard to break that cycle. So instead of tolerating things, we can find so much more power in forgiveness. If tolerance is slavery, then forgiveness is freedom. Forgiveness similarly to tolerance, starts with acceptance. But rather than accepting it and allowing it, forgiveness takes that acceptance and it uses it to let it go and to get something better, to create something better. It breaks the, the bonds and frees up the energy. We all have emotional baggage. We've all had experiences. We've all got things stored inside us. And those things take up so much space and so much energy and they sit there underneath the surface. And it's easier to let them stay there. But the more that you start to pile on, the heavier that gets, the heavier the burden becomes and the more you start to carry. So in letting go and forgiving, even the tiniest of little things, we can start to, uh, we can start to clear up space. We can start to create more energy. Neuroscience shows that when we hold on to too much stuff, it actually changes the way our brain works. It alters the state that our brain is operating in. So as we work to forgive, we can increase the frequency of alpha brain waves, which means we can think better. We've got greater power. We've got clarity, greater focus. So our ability to forgive is dramatically reflected in our physiology, our mental, our emotional well-being. So you can imagine if forgiveness helps to free energy and to clear space and to improve our brain and the environment of our brain, you can imagine what tolerance does to it. It's the opposite. It suppresses those alpha brain waves. It creates incoherence. It makes us scattered. So it's the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Now, forgiveness itself is easy, but too often we choose tolerance or even worse, vengeance, because we're desperately trying to hold on to something in case we get the chance to settle a score or even things out with some kind of act that we believe is gonna restore a balance. But it doesn't work that way. That tolerance and that need for vengeance it creates more internal imbalances. It doesn't level things out, it makes it worse. Whereas forgiveness will bring coherence, it will bring back balance. And we can see that it's scientifically proven when they study the brain, when they study the heart, they can see the difference. When we forgive, we open ourselves up. And when we're open, we get a lot more out of life. We give more, we get more, we do more. 
we create more, life is better. But when we're closed off and we're stuck tolerating and we won't let things go, every single day feels like a battle and that is draining. It takes our energy, it takes our awareness, our focus, and it directs it towards things that are not serving us. So it becomes impossible to move on. It becomes impossible to get better and to live better. So there's a lot to be said for a little bit of forgiveness. So my question for you today is twofold. One, what are you tolerating in your life? What things are you currently tolerating that you know you'll be better off without? And the second question is, what can you forgive? What is something in your world that you could actively start to forgive? If you feel like sharing, just drop it in the comments and let me know. I'm going to be back next week where I'm going to tell you all about the seven day limitless upgrade that we've got coming up very soon. So I will see you then. Have a great day.